Hello everyone. In the last video, last lecture, we saw about the formation of uh, depletion region over here, and uh, due to the accumulation of uh, positive charges, which is in turn due to the positive uh, supply, positive potential that we applied on the gate terminal. So let us uh, revise a bit what we uh, did last time, and then uh, we can move on from there. Uh, we applied a positive uh, gate potential VGS voltage on one of the plates of the parallel plate capacitor and uh, this uh, positive potential in turn repelled all the majority carriers that is holes in the p type substrate leaving behind a negative uh, leaving behind negative uh, charges in the channel region and uh, this in turn also resulted in the uh, formation of a depletion region a depletion region or depletion area which is very similar to one which we uh, which we used to see in case of pn junction diode so uh, uh, most of the uh, working of the nmos uh, fairly replicates the one which uh, uh, fairly replicates the diode uh, the, the the functioning of the diode and uh, now uh, in this uh, video we will most likely uh, close the loop on threshold voltage and uh, and move on to some other topics so let's see let's move on now what we'll do is we'll uh, increase the gate voltage so uh, by inspection uh, what we can observe is when you increase this gate voltage there are, there is uh, it will it will repel more and more uh, holes from the p type substrate or it will repel more and more holes from this area from the channel area and there will be a lot number of accumulation of negative charges in this uh, in this region so let's see let's see that uh, behavior when you increase the gate voltage so i have uh, uh, what i did is i pushed the the first layer of negative charges to the uh, to, uh, to the place underneath the gate so as so as to that we will be seeing the accumulation of negative charges in a in a uh, in a very similar fashion so i increase my gate voltage and you see how the how the uh, depletion uh, depletion charge width goes on increasing now what happens is there is a there is a point or there is a voltage uh, there is a gate voltage at which the semiconductor surface inverts into an n type material so on a p type substrate on a complete p type substrate you will find a small n type uh, you will find a small region which is completely n type this phenomena is referred to as surface inversion or strong inversion and the voltage at which uh, the strong inversion happens that particular voltage is referred to as your threshold voltage so this is this was in 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 uh, some in uh, the previous uh, videos uh, we mentioned that threshold voltage is the voltage at which the transistor turns on so in this uh, in this uh, scenario what happens is you have provided a platform for the current to flow from source to drain you have, you have provided a channel that, uh, for the current to flow from source to drain and once the current flows your transistor turns on so this is the voltage this is a gate voltage at which which, which helps the uh, transistor to turn on now we call this as an n channel uh, n channel and hence the name of this device is called as n channel mosfet let's move away let's deviate from this topic and uh, see and uh, and understand what happens in a p channel mosfet in a p channel mosfet you will have you will have, you will have n substrate you will have p plus source p plus drain and the channel will be of p type that's why we call it as a p channel mosfet so in case of p p mosfet i will be writing uh, semiconductor surface inverts to a p type material so the uh, the behavior of the p p mos and the n mos are very similar just that you replace all your p by n's and n by p's and so on so uh, yeah the, uh, i brought the p mos uh, topic uh, so that it will be very easy to relate the functioning of the p mos to n mos coming back to the n mos uh, discussion so we have what we have done till now we have applied a gate voltage we saw the formation of depletion region and uh, uh, the de the formation of depletion region is because of the gate voltage repelling repelling the holes from the uh, from uh, this particular area of the channel and in the process of repelling the holes the in the process of repelling the holes leave behind negative charges similar phenomena uh, goes on happening till you increase your gate voltage and till all the all the holes in this area are completely repelled by the positive gate voltage so now now what we'll do is we'll further increase the gate voltage and 
and, and see what happens because now we ha we don't have any positive charges present over here so what what is what will happen is when you when you increase your gate voltage it will attract the negative charges from the n plus area we uh, we, uh, we agree that we don't have a, a, a negative a more number of positive charges present in this area and this re depletion region is completely depleted of its majority carriers so now the only uh, place where you have electrons available is this area it will at, it will now attract all the electrons from this area and try to increase the width of this channel let's uh, uh, maybe a graphical uh, view of it will be uh, will be helpful so let's uh, move on so we we further increase the VGS, and now observe uh, observe the change over here. It has it uh, it uh, gets uh, it sees um, a huge number of electrons in the N plus region, and it attracts them into its channel area into the ch into the area beneath the channel. So if you see the how, if you see how the channel width increases. And finally, there is a there is a continuous end channel formation between the between the source and the uh, and the drain area. So in this case, now now what now what will happen is further what will happen is if you just apply a some a potential at the at, at at your deep terminal or the drain terminal, it will pull in electrons from source and drain. So electrons will flow from source through channel and through drain, and there will be a flow of current. That's that's the point where your transistor turns on. So basically, the initial uh, initial platform that was provided by the gate voltage that itself uh, that it uh, I'm talking about the point I, I'm talking about this point where the strong inversion happened that itself was called as threshold voltage. You you can you can uh, you can uh, uh, module uh, you can modulate the conductivity con conductivity of the channel. Basically, you can increase or decrease the conductivity of the channel, and that could be controlled with the help of gate voltage. So you increase the gate voltage you get you get uh, uh, you get huge space for the for the electrons to flow from source to drain and you have heavy conductivity and vice versa you reduce your gate voltage the channel width increases channel in, in, uh, in the channel width increases so your area increases your area increases and you have uh, less conductivity from source to drain so basically the onset of the uh, the, the uh, vgs will be the uh, sorry the threshold voltage will be referred to the uh, the phenom uh, will be referred to a a voltage which will be which will be helping which will will which will be helping the initial uh, uh, current uh, flow from source to drain. Uh, after that, the uh, the modulation of the modulation of the conductivity or the modulation of the current flow will be controlled by uh, uh, VGS. So in the in the next video, uh, what we'll do is we'll we have uh, now uh, reached to a, 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 a definition of threshold voltage. Next, we'll define the threshold voltage with the body terminal tied to some potential. So uh, we uh, we mentioned about uh, in the past videos we talked about uh, uh, this particular terminal and how it affects the electrical uh, characteristics of the of the uh, of the device. So we'll see that we'll uh, we'll do a one by one on one comparison between uh, an NMOS device for which the body terminal is connected to ground and a board and an NMOS device whose body terminal is connected to some potential. We'll do that and we'll develop some equations uh, for threshold voltage with and without the body terminal grounded and eventually solve some problems on on the threshold voltage thank you